This is the LFA. Um, it's one of 500 built. Uh, Lexus is for a supercar. Uh, it's 67% by weight carbon fiber. Uh, it has a carbon fiber tub around which everything else is built. Uh, specially designed uh, engine by Yamaha. 500 of these engines in the world. It's a 4.8 liter V10 with uh, 552 horsepower, about 354 foot pound of torque. Uh, and top speed is about 202 miles per hour. Urban ceramic brakes, 15.4 uh, inch in front, 14.8 in back. Um, see the triple exhaust when we get to the back there. Um, that's actually specially designed by Yamaha to tune the engine so that it sounds like a Formula One car. Uh, those three sound channels are actually uh, piped into the cabin as well, so you hear the sound of the engine while you're uh, driving. Again, they tuned it especially to sound like a Formula One. The spoiler comes up at 50 miles per hour, goes down again at about 30 miles per hour, but you can manually raise it as well. Uh, it's an almost perfect 50-50 weight ratio. Um, this is a mid-front engine, but the radiators are in the back, so you have these massive radiator fans. Uh, uh, these scoops are to funnel air into the radiators, and these scoops are to funnel air into the brakes, the rear brakes. But this is a, a really interesting car, obviously, and there would tell us a little bit about the production numbers uh, and tell us a little bit about how you decided that you're going to choose the LFA, that this was the car mm -hmm. uh, for you, because you obviously have lots and lots of choices, but you chose the LFA. Mm -hmm. Uh, production was at a uh, special factory that they built specifically for this car. Uh, to weave the carbon fiber A-pillars, they created two enormous looms that basically wove carbon fiber. Uh, all of the body panels and uh, carbon fiber tub were hand pressed into molds uh, and ironed out, literally ironed out to flatten them uh, as needed. Um, again, they only made 500. Each is numbered. Uh, this is number 209. 209 of 500. Oh, 500. Okay. Yep. Uh, why, why an LFA? I don't know. I've always been a fan of Toyota and Lexus, and I slowly climbed the ladder buying their higher performance cars as, as the years went on. And uh, when I heard about this going into production, I became sort of obsessed with it and waited two years. Basically, it took 15 months to get once I uh, ordered it. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> So the uh, interior really is more of a cockpit. Um, it's very much uh, designed around the driver, uh, so the driver feels and hears all the experience of the engine in the car. Uh, all carbon fiber, titanium. Uh, there's no steel in this car, so it is said theoretically that the car could last forever because nothing on it will ever rust and nothing on it could ever rot um, because of the way it's manufactured. So. Lifespan is unknown. Carbon fiber accents throughout. Carbon fiber steering wheel. It's a six-speed automated manual with paddle shifters. Um, of course, a clutchless system. Um, does have a really nice navigation system, really nice stereo system, but no one ever turns on the stereo system because you like to listen to the sound of the. Uh, sound of the the best music actually comes uh, from in front of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually. From in front and from really behind. Behind, yeah, and channeled, uh, as I say, sound channels are piped through here. I don't know if you can get the badge there yet. Okay. automated mode but then there's three manual modes. Um, believe it or not there's a wet mode. <laughs> this car has been driven in the snow a few times. Um, in the regular mode and then of course sport mode is where it gets all kinds of exciting. Um, you actually have seven different speeds of shifting you can do too um, down to 200 milliseconds is the fastest shift speed uh, or all the way up to one second if you really want a gentle shift but it's much more fun when you're doing hard acceleration with the fast shifting uh, the car really gives you a nice little kick in the butt the, the bolts and screws and every part of the car are, are hand tooled um, 
tools uh, require special tools to work on the car because regular tools don't work on it. So, um, tell us a little bit about uh, the uh, multimedia um, interface here. So, it looks like it's a joystick? Yeah, it's a pretty standard uh, Lexus uh, system. Uh, works a lot like a mouse, so it's not a touch screen. Uh, you can go into all your different modes. So I assume you can drive this in auto, but you always drive it in Correct. Uh, manual. Correct. Right? Yeah, it's an automated manual, and in automatic, it really doesn't feel right. You know, it's uh, much more fun to use the paddles yeah. to shift around. I can imagine. All right. So um, how about we do this? If you want to give me a little rev, and then I'll go in the back and try to capture it there. <laughs> So I also understand that uh, you obviously drive this car as much as you can, and in fact you're going to be doing a uh, track event soon, correct? Uh, a couple weeks, yep, yep. Excellent. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, for the last year and this year, um, Lexus has sponsored a LFA Owners Appreciation Track Day. Uh, we basically truck everybody's cars out to a track and rent the track for the day and feed us real well and show us great hospitality. Um, this year it's going to be at NOLA in New Orleans. Excellent. So, so you, you did this event last year as well? Correct. Great. That's yeah. awesome. Well, we expect to see uh, pictures from it. So tell me what has the experience been like uh, owning this car. Uh, uh, obviously, lots of, yeah. lot, lots of people uh, obviously admire this car, uh, and it has a presence on the road. It does, yes. Um, yeah, I see a lot of accidents in the car, and I realize it's because people are looking at the car instead of looking at the car in front of it. So yeah. uh, it's interesting. One thing also I didn't show you is uh, the uh, titanium ring there. Um, actually moves. Now one of the things that you know has always been said uh, about this car is so special, the, uh, the tachometer is actually digital uh, because you know obviously when the car revs from 0 to 9,000 in 0.6 seconds it's impossible to capture that with an analog uh, tachometer so this is a digital video game style tachometer and again it's actually a moving titanium ring and that you do all your settings. That is amazing, that is awesome. Great. Yep. Well, thank you so much. Uh, and again, this is the Lexus LFA number 209 of 500. And uh, we appreciate you uh, talking to us about this car. Certainly. Right, thanks.